failure that it's like a third marriage. Yeah, I feel like a loser. On Thursdays, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, part one of the series finale, the Kardashian Jenner family headed to Lake Tahoe for one last family outing for the show. But can Kardashians' relationship struggles threaten to overshadow their time together? After snapping at the family about cookies that were put out for the group to enjoy, Kim huffed, I just want to go to my room and never come out. Kim has been struggling to follow him all over the place and move to Wyoming. I can't do that. He should have a wife that supports his every move and travels with him and does everything and, and I can't. I feel like a f***ing feeling. Privately, behind camera, about her relationship, K Loi Kardashian shared to the cut cameras. It's tough because Kim is clearly did it. We had a great run. We're going to live with a little more privacy in our lives. And I think they just felt like now is the time to do it. Redirecting so much of her frustration and sadness and anger. Sometimes you just take things out on something that has nothing to do with what you're going through. It's not the cookie's fault. Kim filed for divorce from husband Kanye West after six years of marriage in February. A source previously told her that Kim wouldn't shy away from addressing her highly publicized marriage issues on the final season. And it seems fans will see the beginnings of their official split play out in the final episodes of the family's reality show. When the sisters sit down to talk later, it's revealed that, prior to leaving for Daho, Kim had a major fight with Kanye, the aftermath of which is seen in a flashback. I just, like, honestly can't do this anymore, Kim says, crying as sisters Gautney, K, Loie and Kendall and Kylie Jenner comfort her. Why am I still in this place where I'm like, stuck for years? Like, he goes and moves to a different state every year. I have to be together so I can like, raise the kids. He's an amazing dad, he's done an amazing job. She continues as Goutney interrupts to assure her, he still will be. I think he deserves someone that can go support his every move, and go follow him all over the place, and move to Wyoming. I can't do that, Ken continues, worrying that she's not the partner Kanye needs. I feel like a fucking failure, that it's like, a third fucking marriage. Yeah. I feel like a fucking loser. But I can't even think about that, she adds. Like, I want to be happy. In an episode earlier this season, Kim shared what Kanye told her about her and her family's decision to end Cut after its 20th season. I mean, he's like, whatever makes you happy, you know? She told her friend, publicist Simon Huck, over the phone. Last month. A source told her that Kim was in a great headspace and moving on in the months since filing for divorce. Kim is really focused on her family at this time, the source said at the time. Kim has been with the kids majority of the time. The kids and her enjoy doing outdoor activities together and they all spend a ton of time with their cousins. Kim loves keeping them busy, creative, and on the go. And don't forget to get subscribed hit the like and let us know what you want next time below on the comment section.